Hey, what's going on everyone? It's uh, Bryce here, and I'm back with my uh, third edition of uh, The Church of Jeff. Today I want to talk about the time Jeff cast a magic spell on me. Um, so Jeff and I were working one night. Let me preface this with a, this is a quick story. This is a real short one. A, a quickie, but a goodie. So Jeff and I were working together one night, um, prepping or something for the day. And I was talking about how I had a date later on. I was going to get laid that night. I think it was a Friday or something. Yeah, it was definitely a Friday. And Jeff goes, I was like, yeah, I'm about to get laid tonight, Jeff. He's like, you ain't going to have sex tonight. I curse you. And I was like, what the fuck, Jeff? That's fucked up, man. Why would you fucking say that shit? Like, that's not cool. And, like, he, I just didn't really think anything of it. And I worked the rest of the day and finished work. And I was going to leave to go get ready for this date. And I'm driving and I take, like, the, it was like a, a back road out, out of work to out of the country club. And then you hit the main road in White Bear Lake. And right as I'm about to turn on the main road, I see this person pull over on the side of the road, and I'm like, that motherfucker, what a, what a, what a douche. And I realize that it's Jeff. And so I pull over, and of course his car's all fucked up. So I stop, and I'm helping Jeff, and we figure out that he has uh, no coolant reservoir. So his coolant, when it was like over, like, it would just dump out. So he had a, his uh, radiator was completely bone dry. And so I had him... Uh, we, I pushed his car with my car down the street to get it to a lawyer. It was like in an actual parking spot or whatever. Oh, hello. And then, uh, squad ID. Um, and then he called somebody because it was pretty, I, I think he, it, it fucked it up pretty bad. It didn't seize it or anything, but I mean, it, it, it probably shouldn't have been driving around. So uh, we got some coolant or whatever and put it in there and he called a ride and I sat there and waited with him until, I don't know, 11 o'clock, 12 o'clock. Got home. And of course that girl is like, oh, you, you blew me off. And I, so I didn't, I, I didn't get laid that night. Subsequently, I didn't get laid. Uh, Jeff, okay. Anyway. So after that, Jeff's car didn't work. So he had to get rides from, uh, from people for like a week, a full week. And, um, well, he's getting rides from people. This is just, this is a, this is not part of the story. It's a little tangential, but Apparently he went into a liquor store because our sous chef David gave him a ride uh, either to or home from work. And in the liquor store, he went up to the, the guy behind the counter who was also agent and he like with David and said, we gonna have sex later. And David is like, after they left, David's like, why did you say that to that man? And Jeff's like, I don't know. But anyway, I thought that was kind of funny. Um, Jeff was one of those guys that like he would never, uh, like he wasn't, he was super, super funny. Like he was really funny, but not when he was trying to be funny. So he would just do funny shit, but it was never like something he'd intentionally try to make people laugh. But that was like the one time he tried to be funny and it made everyone laugh. Um, anyway, so after getting rides to work for about a week, like two weeks or whatever, that was like a week, week and a half maybe. Um, I didn't, get, I didn't have sex until the next time that Jeff showed up to work in his car, and that was the night that I got laid. So Jeff cursed me. I curse you. Be like. I said that, or I was telling him about it, and then he, like, hopped up on the fucking table and, like, pointed down at me like he was, like, a fucking, I curse you, and, like, cursed me, but uh, apparently he can curse whoever he wants to, but the curse also, like, has a negative effect on him that's, like, two times as bad as the curse was, because, like, you know, getting laid is whatever, but not having a car is fucking really shitty. It affects a lot more than, you know, like, not having sex, because I can jerk off, but, I mean, like, I'd rather jerk off and have to walk somewhere, right? Fuck. What a waste of time. Anyway, this was my, uh, this was my story about Jeff. This is gonna, we're gonna call this the, the book of, the book of curses. A little, uh, yeah, that works. I'll think of a better name. Anyway, thanks for watching. Remember, um, that, uh, Jeff, Jeff loves you and he will, uh, he'll always be there for you until he's not, when he's a, a lamp and, uh, he joined special forces. He died for he died for um, 9/11, and for you know to have a. Bye.